In this video, we are going to test our water-based mold release agent and actually whether water-based mold release agent or any release agent is required and see the effects of using it, not using it, using too much, using too little, etc., has on your finished concrete. Plus, once we've run those tests, I'm going to share some essential tips with you to make sure that your project is even more of a success. Hi, I'm Toby and this is Concrete Lab where we share our knowledge and expertise to help you make your own beautiful polished concrete. So what is mold release? What is mold release agent and what is its purpose? Well, it's as simple as the name really. You apply a mold release to your molds so that the concrete will, once it's cured, release from it. And by release from it, I mean that none of the concrete will stick to your mold material. So you don't want to go to the effort of building a fantastic mold, pouring the concrete in, and then when it comes to demold, a bit of the face of the concrete just rip out on the, the formwork on the sides or on the base of the mold. So that's what the mold release does. So we're going to test three identical molds, one with loads of mold release in it, one with just a very thin film of mold release in it, and then one without mold release. And we're going to see what those results are. And I can tell you at this stage, I have some idea of what's going to happen, but we've never actually tested it properly with three identical tests. So it's going to be interesting to find out. I cut a load of identical melamine strips and small blocks so that I could glue each mould to the table. I started off at the back of each mould, then used a square to make sure that the sides of the mould were square, and then measured front to back to make sure that uh, I got a, uh, a perfect square. Then moved on to the next one, did it in exactly the same way. All the materials are identical for each mould, and the glue is the same. The casting table is made of perspex and it was sanded to 180 grit across the whole table so we know that each mold is completely identical moving on to the application of the mold release in the first mold i put loads of mold release agent in that one and i'm just going to move it around in the mold effectively with some kitchen towel making sure that it was pooling the corners and just really not doing a very good job of taking too much out. On the second one, I'm putting a tiny amount in and then I'm going to take loads of kitchen towel and then wipe it out of the mould, leaving the thinnest of coatings on the mould. And then for the third one, I'm not going to put any in there at all. And finally, I filled up the moulds with the leftovers of a mix that we had been using to create a pretty little green sink, hence the green concrete. The concrete we used is our very own worktop mix in off-white to which we have added 10% green dye. It's extremely self-leveling and takes all the work out of pouring your concrete and casting your concrete. As you can see, it spreads to all sides of the mold on its own with very little help. So we've left the concrete in for, actually it's been over the weekend, so we're ready to demold now. It's nice, nice and hard, it's nice and smooth on the back, so you can see our self-leveling mix is absolutely brilliant at taking any of the hard work out of making your concrete nice and smooth. But we'll demold these now. That one was with loads of mold release, that one with a little, and that one with none. So let's find out what the result is. Okay, moment of truth. Not even gonna look. Ooh, that one's stuck. Oh my God, I can't get that off the table. <laughs> okay, right. Well, that proves something. So, these ones came off nice and easily. Uh, and these are the two that had the mold release. That one didn't have mold release. And I literally, I can't, I'm gonna have to. Uh...
I have to chip away at the edges, which is going to ruin the face. There we go. Right, so. What we can see from the no mold release is that uh, there's loads of pinholes to start with and it's stuck to the table. So that's not ideal. If a piece that's 300 mil by 300 mil sticks to the table, imagine what it's going to do with a worktop. You're just not going to be able to demold it. Now with too much mold release, you can see there's a bit of grease around the edges and there's quite a few pinholes down that side and around the edge there. Not too bad in the middle, um, but yeah, there's, there's quite a few pinholes on there. And with the one that had most of the mold release removed, there's no oily patches around the edges. There's markedly less pinholes. And I'd definitely say that's probably the best finish of all three. So I think what we proved doing this is that you, you have to use mold release. And if you use a little bit too much, then you're going to leave grease on the concrete, which is going to be difficult to get out. So just using a very thin amount seems to be the ideal solution. Plus, you're not going to use up too much product as well. So you definitely need to use mold release. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe so that when we do release new videos, then you'll get a notification pop up. And if you've got any questions, obviously, you can pop the questions in the comments section below or contact us through the usual channels, whether that be email, telephone, or the online chat on the website. Okay, thanks for watching.